clinical trials really help us define how we should be treating patients throughout the world with a particular problem. So people who volunteer for clinical trials where they may not get specific benefit uh, are to me the true heroes of medicine because it allows us to move forward and learn uh, to refine what we do for patients and to determine if new treatments are beneficial. Clinical trials run in four phases generally. Uh, phase one is what we call a preclinical trial. Then a phase two trial will be what we call a safety and efficacy trial. And then we go on to phase three clinical trials, which uh, I tend to call the pivotal trials. And then a phase four trial, which we, we don't do many phase four trials, is an aftermarket trial where we're trying to refine our knowledge of medications or devices that are already FDA approved. We call a trial where the uh, treatment is not known to either the study participant or the people conducting the trial, a double-blind trial. And most of the trials we do here at Lehigh Valley Health Network are double-blind trials and pivotal trials which will really define how we treat patients in the future. Most clinical trials are paid for by the sponsor, which is uh, either the federal government, the National Institutes of Health, uh, or uh, a company that may be testing a new drug or a new device. There are some occasions uh, when uh, it's a little more complicated than that, but the vast majority of clinical trials are paid for. Clinical trials uh, are safe. Uh, every clinical trial must have what's called a data safety monitoring board. That board reviews every single data point on every single patient in the clinical trial. And they meet periodically to make sure that it still is safe to continue to do that trial. The average clinical trial uh, tends to be two to three years. Uh, some are longer, some are shorter, again, depending on what population we're, being, we're studying and what the problem is and the people who we're studying. I recommend clinical trials to patients, uh, particularly if they have a problem or a disease that we, we just don't have great treatments for. At Lehigh Valley Health Network, we're committed to providing uh, the best possible care for patients so that we can help move science in the field of medicine forward. <laughs>